Hi everyone. Hi. Today we're making. <gasps> oh. Oh. <laughs> All good. <laughs> Today we are making, hopefully not a mess, um, <laughs> Christmas kind of chocolate truffles. Yes. They don't have to be Christmassy. You could have them any time of year, but we just They are got... good for Christmas. Yeah, they are a good thing to have in the fridge. Like easy make ahead option. You can pop them on the table on Christmas Day, or you... it's one of those things you could have in the fridge if you have. People coming around, people drop by, that type of thing. They last in the fridge like yeah, for a I'll while go. if you don't eat them all. <laughs> <laughs> and super basic, pretty much two ingredients, which is cream and chocolate. Pretty easy. So with the chocolate, you can choose the percentage that you want to use. Mm -hmm. Now, Lindt have a range. They have the... 70%. We like the smooth blend as well. Mm -hmm. um, you can go with the 78, 85, or 90. And I think they even have 95. Maybe, now, yeah. I will say, if you're going to be serving these to non-keto people, you want to go 70, 78. Um, because otherwise, they're going to be way too dark for um, a regular palate. If you're making them for yourself and you really want to keep them as low carb as possible, mm -hmm. you're going to want to go with the higher percentage chocolate, 90, 85 or the 95 percent. Yeah, so the higher the percentage, the less carbs it's going to be, but also the less sweet it's going to That's be. That's right, so yeah. So just kind of weigh that up. Because you're also not putting any sugar in this, it's just yes. cream and chocolate, so the sweetness is coming yes. from the chocolate. Yeah. So we have got one block of chocolate, which is 100 grams, which I've just finely chopped up here. And then we have 100 mils of cream that I've just heated on the stove. This is just pure cream. And then what you want to do is just basically pour the cream over the chocolate without spilling it everywhere to melt it. She never commits hard enough with her tip, in my opinion. <laughs> now, just don't don't even touch it it's very tempting but just leave it there for the chocolate to melt for a little while oh how do you resist i would be stirring that <laughs> <laughs> okay so it's just been sitting for a couple of minutes because we got interrupted but mm. now i'm going to stir it now i will say it seems like it's not going to come together but it will come together into like a really kind of chocolatey silky smooth ganache just you got to have faith people <laughs> trust trust in the process <laughs> so you just want to mix it together and it will start to get really kind of smooth and then what we need to do once we've got our ganache is pop it into the fridge for about three to four hours for it to set so it's firm enough for us to roll into balls so you can see now it's like a really silky smooth ganache and it kind of thickens up as you stir it as well so if you wanted to flavor it yes um would you do it at this point yeah so you could add in kind of like some essence or something like mint or orange like a jaffa um, yeah, so like a jaffa or a mint or something like that, or you could even add in some kind of crushed nuts or some coconut or something like that if you wanted to. Or like um, gingerbread spice oh, yeah. mixture. Um, you yes. could make up a gingerbread spice mixture and add that in. That would be really Yeah, young. in our dairy-free cookbook, we have a chai spiced version. So you can also use coconut um, cream rather than cream to make like a dairy-free dairy option um, but yeah the chai spice ones are really nice so now that we've got our nice smooth kind of ganache mixture we are going to cover that and pop it in the fridge for about three to four hours until it sets but we actually have one we made earlier for once we actually who are them. we <laughs> it's like we're a cooking show or something <laughs> just had it sitting out of the fridge a little bit to kind of because we'd had it in the fridge overnight but what we're going to do is now take teaspoonfuls of this kind of solid ganache mixture and then we want to roll it into a ball and then roll you know coat it in something so again this is where you can be creative yeah we're just going to use cacao powder so you could use cocoa powder or cacao powder just you know that's a traditional looking option or you could use crushed nuts desiccated coconut yeah. 
Whatever. We've used our granola that we've yeah. kind of blitzed yes. um, to coat it before as well. So, yeah, there's a few different options. Yeah, I just thought of something. Oh, you could use like crushed cookies or something. That would kind of be nice. <laughs> Don't leave me in charge of the cacao. <laughs> so, this is, you know, particularly because we're normally doing this in summertime in Australia, you have to be careful with your hands because the heat of your hands is going to melt it quickly. So, I would just take a teaspoon of this and just very gently roll it into a rough ball and then I would coat it in your coating and then kind of try to, roll try to refine your your um your shape a bit because you can this? see already just that small amount <laughs> i don't normally get dan involved mm. because extra messy but so hey, you just want to rough i'm good look at that so just rough, what a winner try and make it into a nice i'm trying <laughs> Word of advice, do this by yourself so that you don't have an argument with the other person who is very particular about how they look, but especially yes, you wanna... when you have a YouTube channel. <laughs> you got to be careful if it's a really hot day, you might need to kind of cool your hands down a little bit or, you know, have the air conditioning on or something. But I think that's probably enough. But no, oh, they look good, Dan. Good job. Don't be a patronising <laughs> But you can see you just want to do the rough ball at this stage and then once you've got your coating on you can do a bit more rolling because otherwise they're just going to kind of melt under your hands. And you're going to end up Should with... we wash our hands? Yes. <laughs> I think I did a good job with those. I think so too. They look really good. Now that we get to try one. So you will just do the whole mixture. Oh, obviously. obviously yeah. We're not going to you do that while watch the video. <laughs> and I want to try one. <laughs> So, are you going to try one? You probably would want to pop them back in the yes, fridge after soft, you've rolled them. they're soft them. now. And you need to keep them in the fridge as well and just get them out before you eat mm -hmm. them. But They have gone quite soft now, but they are mm. delicious. Mm. They're so rich. You couldn't really overdo it too much, I don't think. Also, if you have keto or low-carb friends that you want to do like a little gift, gift for, few of these mm. different coatings on the outside will look yeah. pretty special in some cellophane. Yeah. Give those to your friends. I think that would be yeah, really cute really as well. Yeah, nice. Really nice homemade gift. They are yummy. So hopefully you've enjoyed this recipe, guys. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel. And thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.